You're watching Higher Things Video Shorts with me, Pastor Chris Hall. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss any Higher Things content. You can follow Higher Things on social media and our website over at www.higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, we ask that you remember us in your donations and prayers. Holy absolution. Your pastor says the words you are forgiven, even better than you are forgiven. He says, in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sin. What does that mean to be forgiven? What does it mean when your pastor says, in the stead of Christ, or when your brothers and sisters in Christ say you're forgiven? What does it mean that your sins are forgiven? So many places we can go in the Bible. One of my favorite places to go right away is St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, when he says that the debt is canceled. This is in Colossians chapter 2, that Jesus cancels your debt because the Father took your sins and nailed them to the cross. All of your sins put on Christ, nailed to the tree. Therefore, you don't owe anything to the Father because of Jesus. All the debt is paid. The debt you owe because of every single one of your sins is canceled. And what does this look like? I mean, it's like if you had thousands, not even thousands, let's say billions of dollars, which seems crazy. None of us would have that, but billions of dollars of debt. And all of a sudden you wake up one day and you get a letter in the mail that says it's all gone. Someone paid it for you. I, I even rejoice when I go out to eat with my massive family, and I know the bill's going to be like 120 bucks, even though all we had were waters and chips and salsa, but somehow it still costs that much. I know when I sit there and I get the bill, and the waiter comes and says, hey, there was a nice couple that paid it for you. <laughs> I rejoice and jump up and down for joy, and then I order dessert. But the reality is, our debt has been canceled. We don't owe anything to the Father. Jesus has paid it in full. That's what it means to be forgiven. You don't owe anything. The price has been covered. It's paid. It's complete. The receipt is in Jesus' hands and your name is on it. And you are destined for eternity because you are forgiven in Jesus. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.